Virgo. Welcome guys. I hope you're having a great Friday. Thanks for tuning in today. So we're going to use um, these tea leaf cards today to sort of uh, translate these, these messages from the universe, from spirit to see what's going on in your life. I have cracked cup dissatisfaction with life. So there might be something in your life uh, that you would like to change. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Interesting. This might be somebody who's just uh, moving away, starting a new chapter. I have flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. So we might even be talking about a breakup here, guys. And that's who's leaving your life. I have parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Who is this? Someone's an asshole. So I'm not sure who this person is. And I have career as well. So we might be dealing with a co-worker uh, being a dick. This might be someone you need to cut out of your life as well. I do have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Now, I'm not sure if this is encouragement from the universe to take a chance on a new future. What's going on here? I do have Owl. Good advice from a wise person. So it might be a good idea uh, to reach out to somebody in your life, someone who you trust, someone who's not this parrot. Uh, to find some advice and maybe how to deal with this parrot and how to move forward. I have the egg as well. Success assured with good plans and hard work. And you know what? I feel like this owl is going to help you with this as well. Help you to find this drive, this direction in life and to help you navigate uh, the situation with this parrot asshole. Let's see what we got. We have mice. Discord among family and friends. Interesting. And November. Right there, guys. So shit's happening this month. It's a very important month. And that might even be, maybe this is a situation that you're going through this November. Maybe this wise person has a birthday in November. Maybe this dick parrot has a birthday in November. But November is extremely important in this read. I have the Page of Cups, which represents good news on the way. And that of an emotional nature. Oh, yes. And I have good old Five of Wands here. This Five of Wands is all about conflict. I feel like it's speaking to this parrot person. I feel like this owl person is also going to help you to find um, find some sort of balance in it. And I feel like it's also speaking to this mice and discord among friends. I feel, <laughs> I feel like this parrot might be playing a big part in this and maybe causing some shit. And I'm not entirely sure why, but I feel like this owl person, whoever this is in your life, is going to have some really good advice in navigating this issue. I have the strength card as well. I see empowerment in this card. I feel like you're going to have to dig deep. I feel like solving this issue with this person, uh, with all the fighting that's going on, uh, and, and you might not be the mediator who solves it. This might be even just walking away from the fight and not including yourself, but whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be very empowering for you. This Six of Wands represents triumph over obstacles, so I definitely see you moving in a successful way here. The Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords, to me, talks about cutting emotions out of things and not allowing this person's uh, crap to affect you, because I feel like that's what the gossip is. I feel like you're internalizing it, um, and I feel like it's causing a lot of stress where there doesn't have to be. I also have the Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands speaks to a journey over time. I feel like it's also speak to this crack cup, this um, dissatisfaction with life, trying to move in a new direction and maybe even career. Maybe this is happening in a job or a workplace. I have the Fool card as well. This Fool card represents a new perspective. I think this owl person is going to give you a new perspective. I also have the Six of Pentacles. In the Six of Pentacles, I see generosity and I see balance. I feel like the Owl's generosity of wisdom is going to help you to find balance in this situation. And the Nine of Pentacles represents happiness and abundance. So I do see you moving in a direction of success. I feel like this is definitely, um, definitely a challenge you're going to have to overcome dealing with whoever this is uh, that's causing all sorts of discord and shit. And I feel like it's one person who's sort of stirring everybody up into a frenzy. Um, so it might be something that you can do to deal with it, or it might be a situation where you just have to walk away. But I feel like whoever this owl person is in your life is going to give you the advice that you need uh, to deal. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested. I'll throw your name in the pot. Alrighty guys, take care.